Kim Kardashian flaunted her sculpted abs while sporting a fashionable ensemble in a new Instagram post shared on Wednesday. The Skims founder, 43, who is reportedly over feuding with Taylor Swift after singer dissed her on the Tortured Poets Department album, continued to brush off the drama in the latest series of snaps. The mother of four donned a black, bandeau strapless top that contained belted details on the front. She additionally slipped into a pair of high waisted, black pants that were made of a soft, fuzzy material. Kim layered the monochromatic outfit with a long coat that was left unfastened at the front. Her dark locks were parted in the middle, and effortlessly flowed down past her shoulders in light waves. Dot the TV personality's makeup was glammed up, and comprised of a layer of mascara to her lashes as well as a light shadow around her eyes. Dot a pink blush and warm contour was added to better accentuate her cheekbones, while a nude, matte tint was worn on her lips and bordered by a darker lip liner. Dot Kim could be seen strolling outdoors after the sun had set in the photos, and flashed a smile while holding her smartphone in her hand as well as one heel. Dot the Kardashian star also included a short reel that was filmed in a dimly lit space with a flashlight shining on her. Dot throughout the reel, she struck a variety of poses to better show off the ensemble as well as the glittering shoe in her hand. Dot the American Horror Story Delicate actress opted to not add any caption to her 363 million followers on the post. Dot her latest Instagram carousel comes shortly after Taylor Swift appeared to reignite the long standing feud with Kim on her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, but the reality star wishes she would have let it be. The Grammy winners' fans speculated that she was going after the reality TV icon when a second volume of her album was dropped just two hours after the first disc was released. It featured a song titled Thank You Amy, stylized as Thank You Amy, spelling out Kim in capital letter, which fans took to refer to Kardashian due to their previous feuding. Dot but a source told People on Tuesday that Kim had put the bad blood behind her, and she hopes that Taylor can learn to do the same. She's over it and thinks Taylor should move on, the source said, adding that Kim doesn't get why, Swift, keeps harping on it. Dot it's been literally years, they emphasized. However, their disagreements are allegedly still on Taylor's mind, and certainly on the minds of the hitmaker's fans. After Kim appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live. On Monday, Swift's more overzealous fans took to social media to complain that the host hadn't asked her about Thank You Amy or their years-old feud. Why not ask her about the Taylor Swift song that North will be singing? Wrote one person on Instagram. Another wrote, Jimmy. In 100% sure you weren't allowed to speak or ask questions about Taylor or TTPD but you could have least slipped up a couple of times and called her Amy. Dot fans also believe Thank You Amy is aimed at Kim thanks to its chorus, All that time you were throwing punches, I was building something. Dot and I can't forgive the way you made me feel, screamed fuck you, Amy to the night sky, as the blood was gushing slash but I can't forget the way you made me heal. Dot elsewhere in the lyrics. Taylor sings about removing defining clues about the person she's singing about, and she added, I changed your name, which instantly drew more listeners to the irregularly capitalized title. The ongoing feud between Taylor and Kim appears to trace back to the 2016 release of Kanye West's The Life of Pablo. In that album song Famous, Kim's ex-husband raps, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex, why? I made that be famous. Dot the line which alludes to when the 46-year-old rapper interrupted Taylor's win at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, was supposedly passed on to the songstress for approval, but she denies ever giving it the OK. Taylor said she had been contacted about the song, but she was never made aware of the actual lyric, I made that be famous. Dot in an effort to prove Kanye's version, Kim shared an edited clip from the studio of him calling up Taylor and seemingly getting her approval. However, the clip shows him conveying the idea, more than the specific lyrics, and when the complete call later leaked it made it clear that the use of B, which seemed to be a major issue for Taylor, was left out completely. Things seemed to settle down in subsequent years, and Kim claimed in 2019 on Watch What Happens Live that the trio had moved on from the dispute. Although Taylor's career has never been better or higher profile than in the last few years, she complained in her 2023 Time Person of the Year profile that the dispute took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. Dot you have a fully manufactured frame job, in an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim Kardashian edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar, she seethed. It is illegal to record a phone call in California, 
where at least some of the parties were likely located during the original exchange, without the permission of all parties on the call. Since the diss track on TTPD was released, the skim's founder has lost 100,000 followers on Instagram. However, she has continued to brush off the feud and drama while focusing on her family and work. Earlier this month, Deadline reported that the reality star is slated to be an executive producer on a new Netflix series titled, Calabasas, alongside her AHS, Delegate co-star Emma Roberts, Pretty Little Liars creator, I. Marlene King and Alexandra Milchin. The show will be based on the novel titled, If You Lived Here You'd Be Famous By Now, written by Via Blydner. The premise follows a 16-year-old named girl named Via who moves to Calabasas with her family from the Midwest and attends Calabasas High. Kim has other upcoming projects under her belt, such as being set to star and also produce an untitled thriller for Amazon.